short history of Beggar's Oak Club dancers. In 1983, a small group of women got together. I think there were five of us. One of us had danced with a team of club dancers and the rest of us were persuaded to give it a try. My husband and I had recently bought um, a WI hall and so we had a place to practice, which was good. Our men folk were roped in to play for us and, and so we were off. Of course, what to wear became an issue and what name to give the team. We eventually chose green as the colour because we all agreed that it suited no one, so that seemed fair. And then one of the team found a reference in a library to a beggar's oak, which was a tree um, growing on a local estate. And it was a famed tree, apparently it was gnarled and, and uh, persons of ill repute and vagabonds used to gather under this tree um, as they made their way around the countryside. And the tree was called the Beggar's Oak. Well, that was perfect, wasn't it? So we had our name as well. Then we learned dances from written sources and some from workshops at festivals and so on. And other teams were kind enough to teach us dances. So from these early days, we gained more members and took part in festivals again, and local fates, church bazaars, well, any excuse really. It remains important to us, though, to keep alive the tradition which has its origins in the industrial north of England. Of course, the years rolled by and we've made our own dances or adapted dances to suit our team. And yet we do take care to maintain the form and the style of the tradition we chose to dance in. And also, of course, we hope to pass this on to anyone else who might come along and wish to join us.